this is a piece of tissue, obviously, because it looks pink. There's some fat. Could there possibly be some muscle here? We could see some soft tissue out here. We could see more fat. This was labeled as from the breast, but literally it could be from just about anywhere. We can see skeletal muscle fibers. We can see fat. We can see blood vessels. We can see connective tissue. And we could see within the connective tissue some type of inflammatory reaction. We could see an increase in cells even from this power. And in addition, we could see that there are abundant multinucleated giant cells. On the basis of this, is this a granuloma? Yes, it is. It could be called a granuloma. But in this case, the histiocytes have banded together to attack particles of material, uh, perhaps infectious, perhaps foreign body, in hopes to dissolve and digest and destroy this tissue. These, this is for, these are typical foreign body granulomas. And these little washed out spaces could very easily be foreign material, such as suture material. Oh, here we could see a foreign body giant cell that looks like it has some junk inside of it that looks like a star. Here's another foreign body giant cell. And notice that in the uh, cracked or washed out areas, there is slightly refractile substance. In this case, it could very well be suture, but just about anything, including in a breast, for example, the edge of a silicon bag, a plastic bag filled with silica, uh, could very easily have this foreign body granulomatous or foreign body giant cell reaction as well. Uh, one very, very nice thing to do is that if you are not really sure whether this material or that material or that material or that material is really foreign material or not, uh, one thing you could very easily do that's very cheap is to just polarize the condenser on your uh, microscope. And if any of the material you are suspecting as being foreign material uh, somehow becomes refractile or glitters a little bit within the reduced lights of the polarization, then you could be sure that these cells are reacting to foreign material because much foreign material is very uh, refractile under polarized light, as is some uh, normal um, tissue material as well. Here is the edge of the fibrous tissue, and notice that there are foreign body giant cells in here as well. This uh, part, and here's another one. It could very well be that this was a part of the uh, breast that was lying over perhaps a uh, plastic bag of silicon. Uh, thank you very much.